Hi, I'm Pat with Everything RV by Pat, and I'm joined today by the Stromads, Rob and Maureen, the the tequila tasting nomads. Um, just want to say hi. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a little interview here, and uh, so stick around. Welcome back, I'm Pat, and this is Rob and Maureen. Rob and Maureen have their uh, their own little uh, YouTube channel, little, they're far surpassing me in their numbers, uh, but they're, we just filmed with them. So we're, we're a little uh, taste test in, and I wanted to uh, introduce them and uh, introduce my viewers to their channel. So uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your channel? Well, Pat, thanks for having us. Uh, it's been super, and thanks for providing the tequila. <laughs> More so than that, uh, we're the Stromads, and we uh, we review tequila. We're full-time nomads. You're tequila tasting nomads. We've been out for about six years, and we're out here in Quartzsite in the desert. We travel in a super sea. You can see that behind us, and uh, we love uh, drinking, meeting great people on the road, and just having a good time. Want to add to that? Well, I, I would this is love Marine. to add to that. So yeah, we do. We uh, we have been traveling uh, six years um, as full time nomads. Before that, we were about fifteen and a half most time nomads. Um, so it just made sense for us to transition into an RV, and um, it's so much fun when you meet people uh, that enjoy the same hobbies as you do, and this one happens to be tequila. tequila. <laughs> <laughs> and if you followed my channel at all, you know that I do a lot of little reviews on campgrounds, and somebody's driving by, hi. Uh, and, and, uh, and so today I'm uh, here in Quartzsite, Arizona, <laughs> and we're uh, reviewing the different, uh, the different stay areas in Quartzsite. But we wanted to start it off with um, a visit from Rob and Maureen and take a look at their Super C. I'm jealous. I love oh. Super Cs. Uh, maybe I'll take a couple of pictures and throw them yeah, in here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, uh, and now I'm, I'm going to put a link right up here at the top um, to their page. So if you, if you feel so inclined, please um, uh, go visit their page. Give them a like. Give them a, subs a subscribe. You know, we all uh, on YouTube, we all like our likes and subscribes. So click that thumb and ring the bell and, and, and leave comments for both of us. Yeah. Uh, but I'll, I'll, uh, hopefully we can show you a little bit about uh, their rig and, and a little bit around the uh, area of Quartzsite in this video. And thanks for joining us. Stick around. So as promised, we are in Quartzsite and I'm gonna kinda of show you around a little bit around the town of Quartzsite. Um, to start off with, I'm driving, you're looking at me. Well, we're going to make a real quick uh, tour of the uh, the area where the big tent is. So let me let me see if I can flip you around here and get you get you a little bit better view. All right, so we're about ready to go down through Tyson Wash area. I apologize for the sound of the vehicle in the background. Uh, 
Um, but you can kind of see off to our right the uh, the various uh, swap meet locations. This is the entrance to the Tyson Wash area. And uh, you can see that they actually park people for the RV show right down here in the wash. Um, we are a week away from them actually having the show this or in here but all around the show there are vendors and swap meet type people and uh, traffic galore so when you when they ask why does why do people come to quartzite in the winter well the the very first thing that I answer is that it's for the show and the show isn't even started yet and you can see how crazy and congested it gets <laughs> um, people come here in their and their buggies their uh, side by sides their cars and if you try to come down this Kuhn Boulevard um, on the weekend of, of the big tent show you'll be an hour getting from the wash to the stoplight on Central Avenue. Uh, right over here is KB Tools, um, multiple places selling uh, bicycles and rocks and minerals, uh, tools and RV supplies and you name it, they sell it here. Coming up here on Central Avenue. Now that brings us to the first way that you can stay in Quartzite. And that is, as you see out here, with or in a RV park. This particular one is called Rice Ranch. And uh, it is situated right across Central Avenue from the Big Tent. And uh, as you can see, it's not fully populated yet. But you can pay to stay here and you can have a full hookup. Um, and it's right next to uh, the Horny Toads Bar and Grill, which is uh, basically an outdoor patio area where you can sit and have some grub and sometimes get some live music and, uh, and, and get a an adult beverage or two. A lot of people actually stay here at the Rice Ranch and set up and, and uh, vend or sell items uh, right outside of the front edge of Rice Ranch. Now we're heading um, east on <coughs> Kuhn Road. And there are, within within walking distance, a couple of uh, other RV parks. This one happens to be called North RV Park. Uh, and then there's another one down here a little further. And I think that's about the, the uh, outward limit of the walking distance to the RV show. And this was coming up here on our left. Um, this is also a good place to uh, stop and fill your tanks. It's called the Tumbleweed RV Park. This one seems to be a little bit more popular or populated. Then we'll go down to the next option that you might have. So we are east of town. <clears throat> this is the 14 day camping or 14 day limited camping area. And this particular area is Skadden Wash. I'll pull up here so you can see the sign. This is also BLM land. Uh, you must register when you enter. You can't just pull up and, 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 and throw down camp 
and expect to not be hassled. So here at Scadden Wash, basically what you do, you pull in, you you go to the uh, little kiosk. There's a there's a ranger or a BLM manager or a long-term camping host um, that stays there and registers you. You fill out your uh, little paperwork and uh, tell them about where you're going to stay. They put a sticker on your vehicle or your uh, RV and you're allowed to stay for 14 days for free. There is no hookups. There is no water. There is no trash. There's no sewage uh, services with that. So for 14 days, you can stay. After 14 days, you got to pick up, leave, re-register, and then you can come back and stay somewhere else 14 more days. Um, the, a lot of people will haul their trash, haul their water in, haul their sewage out. They take it all to an RV park where you can dump for a fee. So this is one option for staying in Quartzite. It's not the only option, uh, or that's actually option two. Option three is what I'm going to show you next. Hang tight. Okay, so this is where we are camped. This is La Posa South long-term visitors area. Now, this is not necessarily all long-term visitors. Um, LTVA for short, the La Posa South. And uh, we, we, are, we are camped here for just a week, just because we wanted to. You must have a permit. It's $180 for the entire season, $40 for two weeks. Um, and uh, you must have cash when you come up to the kiosk. There are, there are dump stations, trash stations, uh, uh, pit potties, um, and, uh, and, and there is a source of fresh potable water, uh, potable however you say it. Anyway, um, so back in here, people will pay and you have to have a permit to stay in here for up to two weeks, up to a month, or up to the full season, which is, I, I believe, six months. Um, when you pay that, it gets you into about six or so different campgrounds or different um, long-term visitor areas uh, around Quartzite and Yuma and one, one even in Southern California uh, on the uh, on the California side of Yuma. But if you look around, you can see lots of different campers, lots of different styles of camping. Um, people are out here in their old very old buses, some in their cars, some with tents, some with very expensive toy haulers and uh, class A's, class B's, class C's, van dwellers, everybody who camps in any shape or form can be found out here. Um, and uh, it's quite the uh, Quite the display of flags at times too. You can probably see off in the distance there uh, several flags waving above RVs. One of the th services that you pay for is the ability to throw away your trash in a dumpster. And there's trash. Over there is the fresh water fill. Here we can see some, some folks filling up their vehicles, filling up with water. Over there is the fill station. And out in this direction 
is the dump station. So there you have it, um, the uh, quartzite. Uh, you have the three different areas that you can uh, be in, the long-term visitor's area, the short-term 14-day free camping, or you can um, hook up at any number of uh, RV parks in town. And you wanna go there to go see the show. The show this year in January starts um, the 22nd of January and it runs through the 30th from what I understand. And now this is the real reason why you come to Quartzite is in January, it's 58 degrees at sunset. And that's a gorgeous sunset right there with the Saguaro in the, in the background. And I am cooking some chicken. There you go. If you haven't seen my uh, video on cooking chicken, I'll leave a link for you right up here in this corner in a few minutes. Um, but we, we really appreciate you spending time with us today. Uh, be sure and check out the, the, the Stromads, uh, Rob and Maureen, your uh, tequila tasting nomads uh, on YouTube. I'll, and again, I'll have a link down below in the, in the uh, description as well. To their to their site so anyway hope that you are having a great day and appreciate you sticking sticking around with me and um you know get out there and make it make it a great day you know get out and enjoy the world around you um please leave me a like and a subscribe down at the bottom um ring the bell leave me a comment uh, you can check out some of these videos over here uh, and help out help support my channel Thanks, everybody.